this is no good anymore. So, um, you're too kind, Lindsay, and uh, I can't tell you how much I appreciate uh, what you're doing and balancing all that you do uh, to help me with this uh, campaign. Um, and th those of you that know me or may not know me too well, you know that I am uh, I'm extremely loyal and dedicated to those people, places, and institutions that have had a profound impact on my life. And uh, it, it's no accident that we're here in this city, in this building, um, in front of all of you uh, today. Um, 20 years ago, Diane and I <clears throat> could have moved anywhere when I transferred up here from, uh, from Virginia, um, but we chose Beaver County and we chose Chippewa and Beaver County um, has embraced us and given us so much uh, and particularly places like Beaver Falls. Um, uh, I love this town. Uh, we put a lot of time and energy in this community as well as a bunch of the other riverfront towns and townships and everything else in, in, in Beaver County and um, uh, it's a special place and um, as my press release said, you know, um, much has been given and much is required. And um, I have no ulterior motives for running other than I want to continue to serve. And I think this is the next level. And I know a lot of you have been working on me for years to run <laughs> again. And uh, I think now's the time. Um, uh, Diane and I have rarely looked back and said, what if? We've usually taken advantage of the opportunities in front of us and just moved forward without looking looking back, and uh, I don't regret any of the decisions I've made politically or not politi politically to, to get here today, um, but it's a special, a special moment. And uh, speaking of the Diane, um, I need to um, acknowledge and thank her and some of the people that are in the room here that really are making this possible. Uh, you, know, you know my joke, we're, we're celebrating 90 years of marriage this year, 40, 45 apiece. <laughs> and sometimes she laughs at that, and sometimes she goes, it only feels like 90. <laughs> um, but, it, you know, she, she, she is my rock. Uh, a brilliant, intrepid wife. Um, uh, I'm truly nothing without her behind me. And uh, I appreciate it. I am uh, also thrilled to have my son my daughter-in-law, and uh, apologies to any of you without grandchildren, the greatest grandchild in the world. <laughs> Charlotte is, is, is here with us today, and uh, thrilled to have them. And, uh, another reason that my affinity for, for Beaver Falls and uh, Kelly's parents are here as well. Kelly's uh, grew up in Beaver Falls, Beaver Falls graduate, CCBC, Slippery Rock, Clarion, done the whole Western PA Beaver thing, teacher, um, and uh, I really appreciate them and their backing. And Jeff followed this up here a couple of years after we moved up. And uh, it's very special to have family. So really, I mean, it, this really is home to us. Um, and we appreciate that. I also want to acknowledge a couple of uh, 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 elected officials who were here. Um, this gentleman was my political hero 10 years ago um, uh, and has now become a good friend. But um, Jim Marshall is very instrumental. Uh, for uh, for convincing me that there's room in the Republican Party. <laughs> uh, thank you, thank you, Jim, for all your support uh, in this as well. Um, it it really wasn't an option or a choice for me uh, after I ran as an independent. Uh, I knew I had to pick a party, and it wasn't. Uh, I, I was, I've been embraced, and, and Jim was the guy that convinced me that uh, independent thinkers and folks like me uh, that there's room in the Republican Party. Uh, for me, and uh, I'm thrilled to be part of the party. Obviously, with my chamber work, my, my belief in the spirit of free enterprise and entrepreneurism, um, personal accountability, and all those other values, that's my, my libertarian bent in me coming out, and um, I'm thrilled to be, to be running as a Republican. I'd also like to thank uh, Dave Gabauer at the corner, who's here. Dave, thank you. You've been very instrumental and influential in, in um, embracing me and convincing me um, to run as commissioners as well. Um, a lot of other folks, I also want to, uh, I don't want to get people kicked out of their party affiliations, but there, there, there are a lot of Democrats and independents in this, in this room. Um, but uh, the mayor, uh, Doug Carson, 
uh, the CDC and Beaver Falls, uh, all, all of these folks, the Miss Pally, Nick Jones, uh, Bethany Williams, you, you guys have been uh, terrific to work with, um, and I appreciate your support and you, and you folks uh, being here as well. And uh, another guy who, who's uh, one of my best friends who agreed to be my treasurer. Um, I'm not sure if he knew it right off the bat, but, it, but his son, name is on the paper, but Scott Monitz here. And Scott, I, I truly appreciate your friendship and, and your support uh, as, as well. So um, I don't want to probably end up naming everybody that's, that's, uh, <laughs> that's, that's here when we're done. I mean, uh, my, my goal is really to restore some credibility, some trust, some integrity um, to the office of commissioner, but to elected officials in general. Um, I, 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 it'd be easy to sit on the sidelines and just ignore everything that's, that's going on and just take pot shots at elected officials and politicians uh, and, and the like. Um, I think it was Disraeli said, uh, Benjamin Disraeli, there's no honor in politics. Um, I'd like to restore some honor in politics. I'd like to restore some credibility, some trust, some integrity uh, to the office of, uh, of commissioner and to the courthouse in general. Uh, I think Beaver County has been under a malaise too long for as long as I've been here. And when you're in the business of trying to sell a county, sell folks to residents uh, to, to move into an area, uh, and you see some of the crap that's in the newspaper uh, or online, uh, doesn't do us any good. We need to grow Beaver County. We need to grow our population. We need to grow economically. And the only way you do that is to convince people that you've got the right people in place, you've got good government, you've got the right amenities, you've got the right things to attract and retain young families. Uh, and there's a lot of young families here. I don't want to see them move away. I want to see those opportunities for all of your children to stay here and be successful, have successful careers, or whatever it is they want to do to be successful in life. Um, there's a process that we need to go through to do that. And uh, a lot of what I'll be focusing on first is obviously fiscal responsibility, making sure that your taxes are being used wisely and responsibly. Um, and we need, to, we, we need to do that. So we have to get our fiscal house in, out, in order. If anybody can tell me exactly what they think uh, the budget is for Beaver County and whether we're ahead or behind or where it is, please pass that along, but I'm sure I'll get about 20 different versions of what that is. Obviously, when I get closer and hopefully get in there, I can, I can make those determinations on my own. But fiscal accountability, fiscal responsibility is, a, is an important thing. And then when you look at the role of commissioner, I mean, you know, one person can only do so much. You need two votes to do everything, right? I mean, you know, you need to have somebody to work with. Uh, and um, ho hopefully that will happen. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that Dan Camp and I will, will form uh, a partnership that allows us uh, to move the county forward. Because there's a lot of things around social services um, that the county is responsible for, flow through money. The commissioners have to do appointments to um, committees and authorities and, and those kinds of things. And how you manage uh, the finances for that, levying taxes, assessing, all that kind of stuff. But there, there are several things that are very passionate to me. I mean, if you want to know who I'm going to be as a commissioner, just look at what I've been doing for the last 20 years. And the causes that I have, the people and the way I've gone about bringing people together to solve problems. And I haven't shied away from, from a hard and difficult tasks before, but uh, addiction is, is a big issue. We still don't do enough for mental health treatment. Um, domestic violence is something that is gut-wrenching to me every time I read about it. Those are things that if you're going to have a quality of life and the kind of amenities you need to attract people, those are important things that we have to do. And the commissioners have a role in, in making sure that those services are, are delivered. So. I have a passion uh, about that as well. And when it comes to economic development, um, we have several initiatives around the riverfront that we're doing. Um, one of the things I was struck with 20 years when I came here was I traveled around a lot. I oversaw plants and sites in uh, 10 different uh, states, three provinces of Canada, all located on rivers. But I came here, and the Ohio is still pretty much an industrial highway. And, and it's just surprising to me that we aren't uh, maximizing the full potential economically and recreationally of, of our rivers, of the Beaver River here in, in all of our legacy riverfront towns and as well. So we need to do some good planning at the county level and at the municipal level to make sure we're protecting the rivers uh, and, and we're using them uh, appropriately. So I can go on and on with my policy wonk stuff, uh, but you guys don't want to hear anything about that. Uh, 
I, I would ask Brian Giffen for a testimonial, but we grew up together in South Jersey, and I'm afraid of what he would say. So, <laughs> uh, but uh, all, all I can say is I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate your support. I can't tell you how much it is um, exciting to me to kick off today um, here in this library. And thank you all for coming. And I need all the support I can get, so hopefully you can sign up uh, for signs, <laughs> for buttons, for circulating petitions, for anything yes. you can think of. <laughs> the treasurer, thank you for reminding me. Uh, the checks are being made out to I Back Jack. Yes. That's the name of the campaign. It's the I Back Jack campaign. So uh, donations <laughs> are clearly welcome. And uh, thank you all again. And uh, thank you, Lindsay, for oh, oh, and thank you, Rachel, uh, for the, for the stuck behind the thing here. Rachel is the new librarian here. She's been uh, fantastic and very accommodating. And uh, good luck. She's two months on the job. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah so, so two months on the job, we have a knock on the door and say, "Hey, we want to have a little political rally in your place." <laughs> but it worked out. It worked out extremely well. So, thank you all, and uh, we'll be seeing you.